Mr. Troyer, your film pitch, please. Born into a cruel society, a misfit tries to survive in a prejudiced world. People, this is a story about a man trying to find a voice. Wow. I mean, we deal with voices every day, and your story needs to be heard. Thank you. No, Vern, thank you. I've got it. He could find his voice on his very own voicemail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he can leave himself messages like in that tattoo movie. Climaxing in a conference call. No! No, this is much bigger than that, people. Am I right? Yes, much bigger. Yeah, we need to put pictures to that voice. This is about video messaging. Yes. Now think about it. Less widescreen, more phone screen. Come on, guys. This film needs, it needs stature. Oh, no. This film needs funding. Yeah, what he said. About one million pounds. You did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 me a frickin' phone here. <laughs> Say, girls. Got milk? New on Disney DVD comes an adventure that'll have you laughing all the way home. Sorry. With enough bonus features to keep your entire herd happy. Awesome! I think we all know what happens now. We all get eaten. What is this, the frozen food section? He must be taking stupid lessons from that buffalo. Oh. Home on the Range, available on Disney DVD from the 29th of November. You've loved them for years. Now see them in an all-new Christmas adventure. Pluto! With Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas on Disney DVD, available from the 15th of November. Mm. Happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. You look like a monkey. And you smell like one, two. two. <laughs> I say. Welcome to the Central Park Zoo. Most animals know a lot more than we think. Mm-hmm, I know that's right. They have feelings. We don't belong here. It's just not natural. This is all some kind of whacked out conspiracy. They make plans. Today we're gonna blow this dump. I did it! And sometimes, I wished I could go to the wild. They want more out of life. The penguins are gone, so why can't I? The penguins are psychotic. You didn't see anything. Coming soon. This place is crack a lacking. DreamWorks Animation presents. Here come the people. Oh, I love the people. Hey, you can't you can't can't you can't 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 oh, lady. What is wrong with you? That kitty. Ben Stiller, Chris Rock, David Schwimmer, Jada Pinkett Smith. It's the man. We've been ratted out, boys. Madagascar. Cute and cuddly, boys. Cute and cuddly. It was the most daring, cleverest and biggest robbery on record. They've got people waiting all over the country, and every time the train comes to a slow bend, it jumps a sack of money out. Could be here. Sometimes you see things, and other people can't see them. Claire of Assisi, 1194 till 1253. That's right. France of Assisi, 1181 till 1226. St. Peter, died AD 64. All right, don't remind us. This is real. You can't tell anyone about this. Why not? Tax. <laughs> See this house? We could buy two like that. How much have you actually got? Plenty. Who feels sorry for poor children? Correct answer. Are you poor? Are you asking for money? Because we don't have any. Brilliant! A thousand! What did you bring a thousand to school for? Can't see that suspicious. It's not suspicious. 
It's unusual. We know the stolen currency is around here somewhere. All the banks have been warned to look out for anyone making any large deposits. Do you mind me asking? Is the kettle actually on? Um, it's mine. I thought it was from God. Who else would have that kind of money? Why didn't you tell me? Anthony said not to because of the tax. Are you allowed to smoke then? You can do what you like up there, son. I've seen you two here before. Our mum's dead. Yeah, well, go on, you're all right. Thanks. Come, Mum's dead, and they give you stuff every time. Are you really a saint? Of course I am. What was your miracle? It was you. Photo album. Oh, yeah. His very first bath. What do you? What is that? Oh, that's Greg getting circumcised. Don't tell me you kept his umbilical cord too. Well, of course not. That's Greg's. All right. You know what? That's it. That's it. That's Wait. enough. No, no. We're having no, fun. No, no, no. We're not having fun. I got my mojo working. Just won't work on you. Won't you love me? It's nice all of us being here together, isn't it, Jack? Got my mojo working. Do your words, Mr. Hughes. We could build a plane with the ability to fly into the substratosphere. You're losing $25,000 a day doing this. You could lose everything. Well, I won't. What does controlling interest in TWA cost me? You want to buy the airline? Why should I let someone else have all the fun? <laughs> I'll let you madman. I have heard some disquieting rumors about Mr. Hughes. Hey! I'd like to know everything there is to know about Mr. Hughes. See, I want to learn what pleases you. What's this? It's a present. You can buy me dinner. How about that? My investigators have turned up a lot of dirt. We are in a street fight. I'm not going to lose. He owns Pan Am. He owns Congress. But he does not own the sky. go faster. Another year, another diary. Mini treacle tart, Admiral Darcy. Oh, no, no, thank you. The um, mini spotted dick rather finished me off. <laughs> Bridget Darcy. Mr. and Mrs. Darcy. Lord and Lady Darcy. Life is absolutely perfect. I can't see anywhere soft to land! How about on your arse? <laughs> There's no one quite like Bridget Jones. That's very funny. For taking a perfect situation. I said I love you, for God's sake. 
Well, all right, no need to shout. And making it impossibly complicated. I read that you should never go out with someone if you can think of three reasons why you shouldn't. Which are? I can't ski. <laughs> You. Bridget, I think you should go to the ladies. I'm sorry I'm late. Hello. And yes, I will always be just a little bit fat. I can't wear that. Do you want to get married and have babies before you become barren or not? Two, three! Ah! This year... Bridget Jones is fine. Darcy, I thought you'd been dumped. Everything's different. I mean, shag therapy. I don't suppose there's any circumstances in which you would ever consider thinking about... Hello. Uh, trusting me again absolutely not but the important things oh god i hope you're wearing those giant panties please <laughs> these yours yes i mean they're not my favorite pair or anything are just the same Can you step outside please oh no it's not possible <laughs> you're, you're pulling my hair <laughs> renee zellweger hugh grant and Colin Firth. You look gorgeous. Thank you. If you're so obsessed with Bridget Jones, why don't you just marry her? Because then she definitely shagged me. And the early evening news follows after this. Oh, come on. It's all clear. <laughs> Dingo. Help! Help! Brian. Run away! Dylan. Oh. Ah! Oh! A new kind of adventure. The diamond. A new breed of heroes. What? A whole new spin. We must get back to the roundabout as fast as we can. Come on, gang. Here we go. The magic roundabout. into a cruel society, a misfit, tries to survive in a prejudiced world. People, this is a story about a man trying to find a voice. Wow. I mean, we deal with voices every day, and your story needs to be heard. Thank you. No, Vern, thank you. I've got it. He could find his voice on his very own voicemail. Oh, yeah, 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 and he can leave himself messages like in that tattoo movie. Climaxing in a conference call. No! No, this is much bigger than that, people. Am I right? Yes, much bigger. Yeah, we need to put pictures to that voice. This is about video messaging. Yes. Now think about it. Less widescreen, more phone screen. Come on, guys. This film needs, needs stature. Oh, no. This film needs funding. Yeah, what he said. About one million pounds. He did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Throw me a frickin' phone here. <laughs> Say, girls. Got milk? New on Disney DVD comes an adventure that'll have you laughing all the way home. Sorry. With enough bonus features to keep your entire herd happy. Awesome! I think we all know what happens now if we all get eaten. What is this, the frozen food section? He must be taking stupid lessons from that buffalo. Oh. Home on the Range, available on Disney DVD from the 29th of November. You've loved them for years. Now see them in an all-new Christmas adventure. Pluto! With Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. This has got to be awesome! <laughs> Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas on Disney DVD, available from the 15th of November. The movie you are about to watch is extremely unpleasant. In this story, not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning, and very few happy things in the middle. This is because not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire youngsters. Violet, the eldest, was one of the finest 14-year-old inventors in the world. Klaus, the middle child, loved books, and everything he read, he remembered. Sunny, the youngest, she liked to bite things. Sunny was at an age where one mostly speaks in a series of unintelligible shrieks. For instance, which probably meant, look at that mysterious figure emerging from the fog. Children, I'm afraid I must inform you of a an extremely unfortunate event. No one knows the precise cause of the Baudelaire fire. And just like that, the Baudelaire children became the Baudelaire orphans. And as unfortunate as their situation seemed, it was only about to get worse. Hello, hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Olaf. All I ask is that you do each and every little thing that pops into my head while I enjoy the enormous fortune your parents left behind. This holiday season... Violet, what are we doing here? Maybe he just doesn't make a very good first impression. You're invited to discover... This way, to the reptile room! A world built by imagination and strung together by a series of unfortunate events. DreamWorks Pictures and Paramount Pictures present <laughs> Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey. Goodbye, kids. There's always something. And then the unthinkable happened. <laughs> Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Now that we're family, I can be the ultimate dad. We're very concerned. Have you ever transcended space and time? Uh, time, not space. No, I don't know what you're talking about. No. Very, very good! Well, Albert, what brought investment. you to the Philosophical Club? You mean the existential detectives? <laughs> what kind of investigation? Existential. You'll spy? Yes. On me? Yes. Oh, Will you be spying on me in the bathroom? Yes. What are you doing here, Brad? What? 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 Brad, you're killing me! Oh, no! Oh, no! Shut up! Yeah, no! Shut up! Oh. Everything is connected and everything matters. Now, isn't that cool? Human drama is inevitable. Suffering oh. cannot be diminished. How am I not myself? How am I not myself? Myself. You don't plant no tree in the parking lot! How's the sex? How is the sex? We're That's private right about our seven minutes of heaven. That, Eight minutes of heaven. It's not quality, it's quantity. <laughs> Jesus is never mad at us if we live with him in our hearts. I hate to break it to you, but he is. He most definitely is. There's glass between us. You can't deal with my infinite nature, can you? That is so not true. Wait, what does that even mean? 
say this blanket represents all the matter and energy in, in the universe, okay? This is me, this is you, and over here, this is the Eiffel Tower, right? It's Paris. Everything is the same, even if it's different. Exactly, because we are connected. Anybody's guess might be a test, or it might not be anything you need to worry about. Now, but if you're a star, very, very good. Go knock yourself out. And so it is. I saw this face. This vision. Like you said you perfect. It, would be. it was the moment of my life. Rocket. Come here. I don't kiss straight. I don't want trouble. I'm not trouble. You're taken. You kissed me. What are you, 12? My boyfriend's here. He's here where? Very pretty. She is very tall. Did you have sex with him? Why are you doing that? Answer the question! Did you ever love me? You're still fancy me. Of course. You're lying. I've been Are you flirting with me? Maybe. Women don't understand the territory because you are the territory. It's not a war. And long for Hello, stranger. You You know that I loved Sean. You know so much. It's taken me this long. And I can't get him out of my system. I can't. Too many memories. I understand that this is going to sound crazy. I've met somebody who, uh, who seems to be Sean. Am I to understand that that 10-year-old boy told you he was your late husband, Sean? He said, it's me, Sean. What am I supposed to think? <laughs> He's back. What do you want? You'll be making a big mistake if you marry Joseph. There's a boy this tall who wants to marry my fiance. You're hurting me. Don't bother me again. From now on, we're going to tell the truth. What do you want to know? How did Sean meet Anna? We met at the beach. We got married 30 times in 30 days. How do you know what you know? I'm sure. You can't go around saying you're somebody not. Huh? What are you doing? I'm looking at my wife. This is insane. I mean, I don't want to fall in love again with Sean. And that's what's happening. You can think whatever you want. Everybody can think what they want. I'm who I say I am. Stay away. Stay away. You ask Anna who she loves more, me or Joseph. Go ahead. Go ask her. Weapons of mass destruction are being offered to terrorists all over the world. Global chaos is about to consume every country on Earth. And there is only one hope for humanity.
Mr. Troyer, your film pitch, please. Born into a cruel society, a misfit tries to survive in a prejudiced world. People, this is a story about a man trying to find a voice. Wow. I mean, we deal with voices every day, and your story needs to be heard. Thank you. No, Vern, thank you. <laughs> I've got it. He could find his voice on his very own voicemail. Oh, yeah, 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 and he can leave himself messages like in that tattoo movie. Climaxing in a conference call. No! No, this is much bigger than that, people. Am I right? Yes, much bigger. Yeah, we need to put pictures to that voice. This is about video messaging. Yes. Now think about it. Less widescreen, more phone screen. Come on, guys. This film needs, it needs stature. Oh, no. This film needs funding. Yeah, what he said. About one million pounds. He did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> Throw me a frickin' phone here. <laughs> Say, girls. Got milk? New on Disney DVD comes an adventure that'll have you laughing all the way home. Sorry. With enough bonus features to keep your entire herd happy. Awesome! I think we all know what happens now if we all get eaten. What is this, the frozen food section? He must be taking stupid lessons from that buffalo. Oh. Home on the Range. Available on Disney DVD from the 29th of November. You've loved them for years. Now see them in an all-new Christmas adventure. <laughs> With Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas on Disney DVD. Available from the 15th of November. in that house. I felt something was wrong. What happened there? is about to discover... There's a guy out there. What the hell is that? You can go home again. Please let me stay here. No. I'll pay you. My family's not for sale, pal. I'll pay you $250,000. Welcome home, son. The Valco family will aid Mr. Latham in recapturing those childhood Christmas memories. No! <laughs> Can't feel my toes. Woo! Including celebrations, all do festiveness, various and sundry merriments, <laughs> and Yuletide glee. Hey, Mom. Hey, who's this? Mom, who is this? Your dad's rented us out for the holidays. Mom? I never had a sister. Oh. She could be the maid. Hey, You're the maid. Enough. 
would you uh, put this hat on? No, I'm not wearing a hat. You gotta wear the hat. I'm not wearing a hat. <laughs> nice hat. Hey. All right, everybody say Merry Christmas. I feel like I'm insane. Hey. 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 You gotta go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> hey. Surviving Christmas. This is what I've been longing for. A real family, you know, in a true home. That's why I'm thinking it might be a good idea if I lived with you. boyfriends who have great skills. You know, like nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. How was school? Worst day of my life? What do you think? <laughs> Idiot. What kind of bike do you have? It's a sledgehammer. Dang. You ever take it off any sweet jumps? A liger. What's a liger? It's my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mix. Why are you so sweaty? I've been practicing some dance moves. Is Trisha here? Is that my driveway? That's my ride. Peaceful village in a world on the brink of war. What's that there? I think it's a body. Oh. A young stranger will appear from nowhere. He's alive. We think that you were shipwrecked. His arrival will awaken emotions. He's so young, isn't he? Yes, he is. Are you hungry? Mm. Oh, Ursula, stop it. You look like a cannibal. Arouse suspicions. But I still think it's rather odd. Bugger doesn't speak a word of English. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah. Bed. Bed. We're learning English. He might be Ursula. You are making holes in the furniture. And change the lives of all who meet him. Forgive me, I simply couldn't help responding to such marvelous play. Was it you? It was neither of us. You don't think that was rather rude, Janet? No, I do not. But in a time of war... Who's he? He's a foreigner. There are some things... You're behaving rather oddly. I was the one who saw him first. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That should never be trusted. I dislike that woman. She frightens me. She's like a witch in a fairy tale. Andrea! Dr. Mead said they were speaking German. I speak fluent German. Does he think I'm involved in espionage as well? Well, no. Don't you think we should tell the authorities that he's here? <laughs> why are you not tell me? I don't understand why. <laughs> A film written and directed by Charles Dance. Ursula, what are you doing? Academy Award winner Judy Dench. Academy Award winner Maggie Smith. Natasha McElhone. <laughs> and Daniel Bruhl. Ladies in Lavender. And away those courses go! But what dastardly deed is this? 
Hey, a sneaky shortcut. Now, what's he up to? Uh-oh. Bye-bye. But what's this? Black Sapphire heads for the finish post. The post really finishes him. Mr. Troyer, your film pitch, please. Born into a cruel society, a misfit tries to survive in a prejudiced world. People, this is a story about a man trying to find a voice. Wow. I mean, we deal with voices every day, and your story needs to be heard. Thank you. No, Vern, thank you. I've got it. He could find his voice on his very own voicemail. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and he can leave himself messages like in that tattoo movie. Climaxing in a conference call. No! No, this is much bigger than that, people. Am I right? Yes, much bigger. Yeah, we need to put pictures to that voice. This is about video messaging. Yes. Now think about it. Less widescreen, more phone screen. Come on, guys. This film needs, it needs stature. Oh, no. This film needs funding. Yeah, what he said. About one million pounds. He did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 Throw me a frickin' phone here. <laughs> Say, girls. Got milk? New on Disney DVD comes an adventure that'll have you laughing all the way home. Sorry. With enough bonus features to keep your entire herd happy. Awesome! I think we all know what happens now. If we all get eaten. What is this, the frozen food section? He must be taking stupid lessons from that buffalo. Oh. Home on the Range, available on Disney DVD from the 29th of November. You've loved them for years. Now see them in an all-new Christmas adventure. Pluto! With Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. This has got to be awesome! <laughs> Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas on Disney DVD, available from the 15th of November. Harold's under fire at work. We wouldn't want to have to tell Berenson you've been slacking now, would we? Kumar's feeling the heat at home. You have one more interview, and if you are anything short of spectacular, I'll completely cut you off. Uh, come on, Daddy is not coming or anything. But tonight, all their troubles are about to disappear. I just got a quarter of the finest herb in New York City, and I'm not smoking alone, okay? In a puff of smoke. <laughs> now, they're hungry for something more. Imagine all those burgers in your stomach right now. And they're going on a trip they'll never remember. I am so hungry. To get a burger they'll never forget. Just thinking about those tender little burgers makes me want to burn this mother down. Come on, Pookie, let's burn this mother down! No! And in one crazy night, you could help me with this. Mm -hmm. they'll go further, stoop lower, and get higher than they've ever been before. Who wants the food? That Asian guy from American Pie. It's okay, how's it just steal my car? That Indian guy from Van Wilder. Thank you, come again! In a new comedy from the white guy who directed Dude, Where's My Car? Dude, where's my car? Where's his car, dude? Harold and Kumar get the munchies. Jack Roll here! How about a fortune? Oh! oh! Deep beneath the world's greatest ocean lives a sponge unlike any other. Hooray! Bubble party! Everyone thought of SpongeBob SquarePants Whoa! as just a kid. Well, saying you're a kid is like saying I'm a kid. Here's your goober meal, sir. Oh, I'm supposed to get a toy with this? But all that was about to change. By tomorrow, I will rule the world! <laughs> Well, good luck with that. Ah, someone has stolen the royal crown! Patrick and I are gonna get that crown. Huh? You're just a kid. But I'm not a kid. I can do it. The fate of Bikini Bottom rests in your hands. Now, he will begin a journey.
to become the hero he was born to be. You two dipsticks ain't gonna last ten seconds over the county line. Oh, yeah? Hey. Out of the car, fellas. Get ready. Let's get it on! Go. For big adventure. I command the two of you to turn into men. Oh, my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache! So do you! Oh. 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 And big surprises beyond Bikini Bottom. Who are you? I'm David Hasselhoff. Hooray! The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Hooray for SpongeBob! <laughs>
Edna Mole. Your suit can stretch as far as you can and still retain its shape. Virtually indestructible and machine washable, darling. That's a new feature. <laughs> caravan completely bulletproof magnetic locks you've got more cover on you than the president so what are you worried about i've dealt with this guy before we're clear uh. 
love watching you undress. Did he tip you? One lousy buck? I'll give you 20 if you keep stripping. Max Burdett, the world's greatest jewel thief. Good work, Stanley. Has finally decided to retire in paradise. We went out at the top of our game, undefeated. The best time to quit. But after seven years of chasing him... What are you doing in my house, Agent Lloyd? It's okay to be happy to see me. Agent Stan Lloyd is convinced it's a cover for his biggest score yet. The Seven Seas Navigator. They're calling it the Diamond Cruise. I'm just here to look. The third Napoleon Diamond. It's the only one you haven't stolen. Allegedly. This is not retirement at all. This is the next setup, isn't it? You chose this island, remember? I want you to steal me that diamond. I'm not a criminal. Right. Neither am I. Your suite is ready. Sweet. You can't bribe me, Max. I just want you to see that if you lead the kind of life that I do, stealing's the last thing on your mind. Are you ready for your massage? <laughs> I'll do your back. I'll do your front. <laughs> You New Line Cinema presents Pierce Brosnan, Selma Hayek, Woody Harrelson, Don Cheadle. You've been cheating on me with a diamond. The only way to rid yourself of temptation is to yield to it. After the Sunset, directed by Brett Ratner. Uh, two one nine. What's the time? Ten to. Ten to what? Oh, Daddy, ten to twelve. Mm. Hello. What's your name? Amy. That's a very pretty name. I've seen you before in a dream. I'm Inspector Girotti. I came to see you after the bomb. I'm so sorry about your daughter. At least it was quick. We must look to the future and hope. Little American girl. She is traumatized. She cannot speak. What will become of them? Where will they go? I suppose they could stay at the house for a while. You're welcome to remain here for as long as you feel like it. No! No! <laughs> she needs to look after people. That's her function in life. So if you want to stay on, sir, you'll be doing her a real favor. Hello? He's coming to fetch her. Who? Her uncle. Will he take her back to America? Yes. Do you know Amy well? We met for the first time just an hour ago. An hour ago? These are very interesting pictures. I didn't draw them. I drew them. Renner drew them. Um, I'm sorry, I don't... When are you taking me away? We have to talk. Do you feel obliged to take the child back with you? Don't destroy her one chance of happiness because of your own sense of guilt. HBO Films presents... What a strange and mysterious thing it is, love. To be without it is like being deprived of oxygen. Academy Award winner Maggie Smith, Ronnie Barker, Academy Award winner Chris Cooper, Ben O'Furman, Giancarlo Giannini, Timothy Spall. It's like reading a wonderful book. You never know what's going to happen in the next chapter. I hope there'll be a happy ending. Sometimes you have to make your own happy endings. My House in Umbria. In this friendly little town, there lived an enchanting family named the Cranks. They always celebrate the holidays together. But this year, their daughter decided to leave them alone. This won't be the same. Everybody's gonna really miss Blair this year. Then, Luther got an idea. We skip Christmas. We skip Christmas? We spent $6,100 last year. 
Save the money. We'll go bask in the Caribbean sun. It was a little daring. Oh, there's a brisky. Oh, the girls are going to love this one. It was a little risky. Your face. It's like it's frozen. I got a Botox injection today. Got it. And only Luther. Think you can run away from Christmas, huh? <laughs> thought it was brilliant. <laughs> A lot of the neighbors are pretty upset. Free Frosty, free Frosty. They want Frosty? They do not get Frosty. Nora, stop the car. Talk to me, Nora, please. <laughs> Hello, Mom, Dad. I changed my mind and I'm coming home for Christmas. What? Based on the best-selling novel by John Grisham. We have only 12 hours, so we're going to perform a little miracle. Ah! I'm getting the ham. You get the trick. Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. What are you doing, Walker? Christmas with the Cranks. Oh! Oh!